After these things, Jesus was walking in Galilee, for he was unwilling to walk in Judea because the Jews were seeking to kill him. But the feast of the Jews, the feast of booths, was near. Therefore, his brother said to him, Leave here and go into Judea, so that your disciples also may see your works that you are doing. For no one does anything in secret, but he himself seeks to be known publicly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. For his disciples, for his brothers were not believing in him. So Jesus said to them, My time is not yet here, but your time is always opportune. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me, because I testify of it, that its deeds are evil. Go up to the feast yourselves. I do not go up at this feast, because my time has not yet fully come. Having said these things to them, he stayed in Galilee. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, then he himself also went up, not publicly, but as if in secret. So the Jews were seeking him at the feast and were saying, Where is he? There was much grumbling among the crowds concerning him. Some were saying, He's a good man. Others were saying, No, on the contrary, he leads people astray. Yet no one was speaking openly of him, for fear of the Jews. Now when it was in the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and began to teach. The Jews were astonished, saying, How has this man become, had become learned, having never been educated? So Jesus answered them and said, My teaching is not mine, but his who sent me. If anyone is willing, willing to do his will, he will know of the teaching whether it is of God, or whether I speak for myself. He who speaks for himself seeks his own glory. But he who is seeking the glory of the one who sent him, he is true, and there is no unrighteousness in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you carries out the law? Why do you seek to kill me? The, the crowd answered, You have a demon. Who seeks to kill you? Jesus answered them, I did one deed, and you all marvel. For this reason, Moses has given you circumcision, not because it was from Moses, but from the fathers, and the, and the Sabbath to circumcise the man. If a man receives circumcision on the Sabbath, so that the law of Moses would not be broken, and you're angry with me because I made an entire man well on the Sabbath, do not judge according to appearance, but judge with righteous judgment. So some of the people of Jerusalem were saying, Is this not the man whom they were seeking to kill? Look, he's speaking publicly, and they're saying nothing to him. The rulers do not really know that this is the Christ really. However, we know where this man is from. But whenever the Christ may come, no one knows where he is from. Jesus cried out in the temple, teaching and saying, You both know me and know where I am from, and I have come not of myself, but he who sent me is true, whom you do not know. I know him, because I am from him, and he sent me. So they are seeking to seize him, but no one laid his hand on him, because his hour had not yet come. But many of the multitude believed in him, and they were saying, When the Christ shall come, he will not perform more signs than those which this man has, will he? The Pharisees heard the multitude muttering these things about him, and the chief priests and the Pharisees sent officers to seize him. Jesus therefore said, For a little while longer I am with you, then I go to him who sent me. You shall seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am you cannot come. The Jews therefore said to one another, 
When does this man intend to go that we shall not find him? He is not intending to go to the dispersion among the Greeks and teach the Greeks, is he? What is this statement that he said, you will seek me and will not find me, and where I am, you cannot come? Now on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If any man is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from the innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke of the Spirit, with those who believed in him were to receive, for the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Some of the multitude, therefore, when they heard these words, were saying, This certainly is the prophet. Others were saying, This is the Christ. Still others were saying, Surely the Christ is not going to come from Galilee, is he? Has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from the offspring of David and from Bethlehem, the village where Damascus was? So there arose a division in the multitude because of him, and some of them wanted to seize him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers therefore came to the chief priests and Pharisees and said to them, Why did you not bring him? The officers answered, Never did a man speak the way that this man speaks. The Pharisees therefore answered them, You have not also been led astray, have you? No one of the rulers or Pharisees has believed in him, has he? But this multitude which does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus said to them, He who came to him before being one of them, our laws does not judge a man unless it first hears from him and knows what he is doing, does it? They answered and said to him, You are not also from Galilee, are you? Search and see that no prophet arises out of Galilee. And everyone went to his home. 